Here's a quick demonstration on how to fill in a let us meet invitation. So you enter the invitation in your browser and you go to the meeting invitation. So you'll see something like this. The meeting inviter will usually have their availabilities filled out and you need to add your own. So what you have here are the dates where the meeting creator has made themselves available uh, with the hour range. And on the right here, there might be arrows leading to more pages, so don't miss those going back and forth. And importantly, at the bottom, it tells us time zone in which this is shown. Usually by default, it should show your own local time. So don't try to guess the meeting inviter's time zone. Just answer according to your availability in your time zone. So to, to add your availabilities, you click on add availability here. And that gives you a blank sheet. And then you specify your availabilities. So take careful note of the date. Probably you'll need to have your own calendar on another screen or you might have to switch back and forth. But then you drag and select your availabilities on each and every date there. Now, this is important to fill in your availabilities for each and every date. Maybe you're not available this day, you skip it. Only available a couple of hours here not available that date. It's important to fill out availabilities for each and every date because it might be uh, that some people are available some days, some time periods or not. So you drag and, and select all your time slots. Okay, maybe you could be available here. And don't forget the arrows that might be at the end for more dates. And you select that, you're not available on any of the dates here. And you go back and just make sure, double check with your calendar that these are the time slots where you are available. And when you verify that all looks good, then you come back here and you click next. And next, um, so it has shown you everything and then continue. And then as a guess, it will ask you to fill in your name my name is my name and your email address. Now that's useful so that once a meeting is scheduled, you might receive an automatic no, uh, notification. Your name is important so that the meeting um, creator knows who filled this out. And you put in your email address. That's optional. The meeting creator will know what you filled out as long as you give your name, but this will let you let, let us meet automatically notify you. And click on continue. And there now, once you fill in your availabilities, you by hovering over your name, you can see your availabilities. Let me go this way. And here it shows in light green when one person said they're available and dark green when both have said they're available. And if there's more people um, who filled in, dark green will be where everyone's available. By hovering over in one name, you see when only that one person is available. You can go back and forth with just that one person. But when it's not hovered over, it shows you the overlaps. These are times when multiple people can meet. And with this information, it should be easy for the meeting organizer to find when as many people are available as possible and then schedule a meeting time.